ファッションしか映ってない持ってない<笑> But we'll attend it anyway But this is our last song Thank you very much Sitting here for three fucking months. <laughs> so we've got tea towels and bags. Now everybody loves a tea towel. <laughs> In fact, the tea towel features the lyrics to this very song. <laughs> and uh, we will go out there and sell it to you uh, after we're done if you want to. See how we'll work it over. And we're, we can only take cash, sorry, because I left the machine at home because I didn't think we had anything to sell. So that was the first big weekend of the summer. The stuff starts to be as usual with a camera because, and again, no one wins a big cash prize. Later, I do my sound look routine and approach Gina's new boyfriend to tell him he shouldn't feel there's any animosity between us. And then I even went and made peace with her. Waste of fucking time, that was. <laughs> then on Friday night, this is going to sound a bit strange. <laughs> then on Friday night, we went to the Archies. There was only one car who was the summit as if we were a train. We got through quite late. Then we went to a pub to take the key. There were no problems getting in. We saw the others waiting down the front of the queue, so we just stepped. It was a good night. Everyone was naughty, then I ended up dancing with some long girl, who I thought had been very pretty until last night Matthew informed me she was in fact supermodel material. When the clock finished, we walked up the streets for a while. Then we got to this 24-hour cafe, but it was shiny. So we left and got a taxi back to Morag's. I couldn't sleep. I stole someone's strawberry wine and annoyed them and tried to keep them on. Then at 10 o'clock in the morning we went downstairs to buy some booze. We had intended to watch the football in the afternoon but we passed out by then and slept right through it. I waited to find that England had won 2-0. Then we went to get the train home, and we had a few in the station bar. We had some stuff left for the previous night's supplies, so we went to go home. We decided to go to John's and meet this school. Same story as Friday, once a hug and once a dance, etc. etc. I couldn't sleep again, so we went to the park to look at the tube, jumping over a big fence, bruising our hands, legs, and groins, but we had a good laugh. Especially on the tube street, which doubles as a real old from drunk teams. And we walked through the woods to have a look at the tube, but it was a big disappointment. But the mess on the lake was cruel. Sunday afternoon, we go to John's with beer and tin for the Simpsons. It was a really good episode about love always ending in tragedy, except, of course, for Marjorie Homer. And to tell you the truth, my eyes were very dark. We went up the pub about ten. It was busy for a Sunday. Lots of people we know, including my first ever girlfriend, who I still find very attractive, though we don't really talk anymore. Jilly was there and had a good laugh with her, but by far the highlight of my evening was watching Malcolm make some terrible attempt to chat up a girl we don't call Joe. He made some remark about a pair of their stuff the previous night or something. I couldn't sleep again that night thanks to some seriously disturbing nightmares. 
Matthew says I shall cut down on the trees. Thank you. 